That's it. The English perdition. Per dish on. Now. Perdition one. A state of final spiritual ruin. Loss of the soul. Damnation. This is my home. You're my husband. And my children are upstairs in bed. I'm a happily married woman, or I was until a few weeks ago. This is my whole world, and it's enough. Or rather it was. <coughs> Count. Welcome. Hold me, please. artist in her space. What does she see? Colour? Light? Shadow? Angle? Balance? Harmony? Into this space she pours her thoughts, hopes, dreams. She creates. She crafts from the world around her, taking a little of this, a little of that, pushing it together and pulling it apart. Touch, sight, smell, sound, taste. Space fills her senses, she becomes one with the space. It feeds into her minds and her hands and moulds the ever-changing vision into something palpable. The art evolves from the metaphysical to the physical as it's shared with the space in a mutual relationship. It gives this, she gives that. Like a well-chosen spice, the space colours and textures the piece, making it something it could not have been before, making it now, making it here, making it this. Now, how could the piece be anything but the reaction? of the materials to her environment? How could her intentions be anything other than to create from what she can sense? Perdition. Two. The future state of the wicked. I was happy in the haze of a drunken hour, but heaven knows I'm miserable now. Close your eyes. Go ahead, no one's watching. Well, I'm watching. No one else is watching. Close your eyes. Imagine the most powerful piece of art you've ever seen. However it appears to you, doesn't matter. Maybe you see sunflowers, Madonna and Child. Maybe you see an unmade bed. All equally valid. Now, look further. Look harder. Trace the outline in its place. Use your hands if you want, no one's watching. Chances are, You'll feel a wall, display case, sanitized environment, sterile, impersonal. Now imagine how Abramovich, Kreba, Cage, Creed, Nauman saw it. Is it the same? Or is something different? Changed? Discordant? Missing? You can open your eyes now if you like. 
torn from their context, their environment. They had lost their meaning and died. So said Daniel Burren on visiting pieces of art on public display as compared to how he first felt when he saw them in their studios. One imagines a, a graveyard of paintings, or a mausoleum of sculpture. In moving the objects, the art, the pieces, from their home, the birthplace, in this, the studio, something had been lost. The pieces, he felt, were not the same pieces they'd once been. Ripped from their incubator, they transformed into something quite alien to the eye of the artist. How did this happen? What changed? How had the energy so potent, so concentrated, been lost? And if lost, what does it even mean anymore? Perdition three. Hell. How do you feel? What defines our sense of loss? Sadness, anger, elation, jubilation, maybe relief. Is it a time for remembering, bargaining, depression, celebration? What was lost isn't tangible, cannot be seen, may never even have been seen by anyone but the artist herself. Perhaps she doesn't recognise now what her hands first crafted. Let's examine the space again. Okay, take a look. But don't just look, see. Don't just observe. The energy trapped here and made cohesive and real and ordered and given form and sense. Take a breath and see and feel. It will never feel the same again. Right. Let's experiment. Let's take the energy, the craft, the intention, the beauty shaped by these surroundings and let's change it. Let's make it something else. Something no less worthwhile, perhaps. Let's find out. Madam, if you'll help me with this, please. Can I ask you to pick something up? Don't be shy, anything you like. Now, put it down somewhere else. Anywhere you like. Congratulations. You've destroyed the space. <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you. Perdition. Number four, utter destruction or ruin. It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. So now, I invite you. Let's all now destroy what we can see and build it anew. Take hold of something, do it now. We'll all make a choice together. Okay, could anyone who wants to help me with the larger objects in the space, please? That is the tables and the whiteboard and uh, this large safe here and the chair, please come forward. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I'm going to need two people to help me with these tables, two each, please. Yeah, so kind of you. Thank you. Two more. And if um, two people who'd be willing to swap with the guys in front with the chair at some point, uh, could they go behind, please? Thank you. Now, can anyone who wishes to join them by helping to move some of the lighter objects, please come and select something to take. Anyone's got anything to do with the whiteboard? It might be a two man job, or two woman job.
try and keep the large stuff to the front. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's then there will fine. be a break. We'll probably out the door. Okay, so now that everyone's got hold of something from the space, let's take <coughs> energy from the space and carry it with us. We'll take it somewhere else. We'll go out of the studio, out of the building, and find a new place to put it. Out of the artist's mind and into a new context. Now, you know, follow me until I say stop. Okay. <laughs> Remember, wise men never sit and wail their loss, but cheerily seek how to redress their harms. Shakespeare. Let's go.
so now here this new space, new idea, new context. Take the objects you brought with you, take the energy, and let's build, create, place the items wherever they fit for you. Do it now, make a choice. <laughs> Congratulations, you've seen today the art space in three stages. The studio, the studio in transit, and the studio reinstalled. The piece you saw at the beginning no longer exists. We've changed it. We made it something else. Addition five. Obsolete boss. Don't breathe. Anything you lose comes around again in another form. Thanks for attending today's performance. Please stay for a drink with us. Thank <laughs> you. 